here in the i button and in the description box below you will get the complete playlist of multiple integrals welcome to video number 11 and from with this video onwards we are going to start a new topic that is change the order of integration and this topic is very 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 important so in this we are going to study about solve four different problems in this video we are going to solve this first problem that is in video number 11 you will find this problem in video number 12 you will find this problem in video, video number 13 you will find this problem and in video number 14 you will find this problem if you solve all the four problems then i believe that you won't have any doubt regarding this topic okay believe me so let us start with this problem but before this we must understand that why are we discussing about order of integration why are we changing the order of integration because sometimes the integration part becomes so difficult to solve as per the given order of integration so to make it so to make it easier to solve we change the order of integration okay suppose we have some um, expression here in terms of x and y and we are integrating first with respect to x but sometimes it is very difficult to integrate that function with respect to x so we will change the order of integration so that the question becomes easier the part of integration becomes easier that is why we study this topic that is change the order of integration okay so question says change of it or change the order of integration of i equals to integral minus a to a integral 0 to root over of a square minus y square f of x comma y dx dy now there is one important thing that is sometimes the order of integration given in the problem is incorrect as per the given set of limits i repeat this once again sometimes the order of integration given in the problem is incorrect as per the given set of limits so we must check that first here you can see the here we have limit that is 0 to root of a square minus y square since here we have y square or you can say since here we have y so we can say this is the limit of x okay so this is the limit of x and since this is the limit of x first we have to integrate this function with respect to x so we can say this order of integration is correct okay so the order of integration is correct then if this is the limit of x then this is the limit of y okay so let us start solving this problem here we have given that is i equals to double integral minus a to plus a 0 to root over of a square minus y square some function x comma y dx dy okay <coughs> sorry so here the old limit varies from if in this problem we are changing the order of integration that means we have to change the limit also okay so we will find new limit so we are studying about the old limit that is given in the problem that is x goes from 0 to root of a square minus y square and y goes from minus a to plus a so here first we will write the left part that is minus a to a which is the limit of y so we will write that is y equals to minus a to y equals to plus a also we have x equals to 0 to root over of 0 to x equals to root over of a square minus y square okay now if you see this you will find this is x square plus y square equals to a square this is the equation of a circle whose radius is a and center is at origin i repeat this once again looking at this equation which is an equation of a circle you must understand that is the radius of the circle is a and the origin is the center of circle so we are drawing a circle this is a circle suppose this is my y axis and this is my x axis okay so if this radius is a so this is going to be this point coordinate is 0 comma minus a this is 0 comma a this is origin that is 0 comma 0 
and this point is a comma zero. Okay. Equation of the circle is x square plus y square equals to a square. This is given in the problem. Now here we need to uh, draw a strip. Okay, that strip might be horizontal or vertical. That is horizontal means parallel to x-axis and vertical means parallel to y-axis. How to understand that for this integral, that is double integral, we have horizontal strip or uh, or a vertical strip. For that we need to see this limit. Okay, not this limit. We have to see this limit. This is the limit of x. This is the limit of x. Since this is the limit of x, so we have to draw horizontal strip that is parallel to x axis. I am repeating this once again. This is the most important part of this video that is since y is present here. So this is the limit. This is the limit of x. Since this is the limit of x, so we are going to draw a parallel strip. Okay, strip parallel to x axis or you can see you can say horizontal strip. Okay, so drawing a horizontal strip. whose name is PQ. How to name PQ? If this is the horizontal strip, then we have to write left part first. That is P, then Q. Left to right. Had this been a vertical strip, we would have named as bottom to top. Okay, horizontal strip means left to right. Vertical strip means bottom to top. P, Q. Okay, likewise, we have to name this. Now, you can see for this strip, the left part that is p is on the y axis that is x equal to 0 and right part is on the circle whose equation is x square plus y square equals to a square that means x equals to root of a square minus y square this is the positive coordinate of x axis so we are taking the positive okay and y goes from minus a to plus a minus a means this plus a means this that means the strip is moving from bottom to top okay this is the region of integration fine now we need to change the strip for that you can draw a vertical strip here but i am drawing a separate for the new strip this is x axis this is y axis okay this is a comma 0 this is 0 comma minus a this is 0 comma a this is origin okay and the equation of this circle that is x square plus y square equals to a square okay now we have to draw a strip parallel to y axis so let's suppose this is my strip which is parallel to y axis that is new strip naming that is r s Okay, we are naming this as R S. New strip, old strip naming P Q. New strip means R S. Always, if the strip is horizontal, naming should be from left to right. If this is vertical, then naming should be from bottom to top. Now you can see. Let R S be the new strip. Then. Therefore, limit varies from, limit varies from, first we have to write, okay, since for the old limit we started from x, then y, so we need to change this, that is, first we will write the limit of x, that is, if you see, the strip varies from 0 to a, okay, from x equal to 0 to x equals to a. So, here we, we will write that is x equal to 0 to x equals to a and y equals to this part r which is on the circle to s which is again on the circle but this here y is negative here y is positive. So, here we know that is given x square plus y square equals to a square from here we will find y square equals to a square minus x square then y equals to plus minus root over of a square minus x square okay for this r we will take the negative of this for
for this s we will take the consider the positive value of this that is minus root over of a square minus x square to y equals to root over of a square minus x square okay this is negative y this is positive y okay so we have the coordinates that is x equal to this to is and y equals to minus this to positive of this so we will on so we will write the integration that is on changing the order of integration on on changing the strip that is i i equals to we will consider this i okay always consider this i not this i why not this i because suppose in the question this order was different so we have corrected this here okay this integration is the correct so we will consider this that is i equals to double integration limit goes from minus a to a 0 to root over of a square minus y square function is f of x comma y the order is dx dy okay this was the old integration integration part now we have changed because we have changed the strip so the new integration would be double integration x equal to 0 to x equals to a so this is x equal to 0 to x equals to a y limit goes from minus root over of a square minus x square to positive of a square minus x square function is f of x comma y now we need to change this order dy dx why so because here we have x so we can say this is the limit of y since this is the limit of y so we will integrate the function with respect to y first okay so this is the final answer Thank you, thank you so much.